Okay, guys, if you're a regular to my videos, you probably have noticed that I like cool stuff. Um, let me describe it as I like precision-made items. Maybe it's because I work in manufacturing myself and in contract manufacturing, making a variety of items. But I appreciate when I see something that is nice quality, a well-made item. And as a result, often I will buy things that I don't really need, which is the case with this little gem. Uh, in my defense, I did not buy this. This was a gift from my beautiful wife for me for Father's Day this year, Father's Day of 2021. Um, I like compasses. I've always been kind of fascinated with them ever since I was a kid. And this is one that I had seen in old some survival or preppers video or something like that. So I put it on my Amazon wish list, and sure enough, um, I guess about six months later, it showed up as a gift for me, which is always nice. Uh, I'm going to be the first to tell you, like I just said, I like this because it's a gizmo. I don't know a whole lot about this. This is not going to be an educational video on how to use a compass by any means. This is just going to be a video showing this particular compass and unboxing of it because it does come in very nice packaging and just looking up close at it. So there are plenty of videos out there on YouTube that have actual people who know how to really use it reviews on this compass, uh, as well as just a compass orienteering in general with maps. Now, with that said, I've always been interested in it. So having this now, this is going to give me something kind of to mess around with, something to learn. I'm always looking to learn and further educate myself. So I'm going to pick up a nice book, I think, on compass orienteering and uh, go through this. Now, let's take a look at this up close. Now, what I know about this, this is not a lensetic compass. This is what they call a sighting compass. What's the difference? Well, I don't really know, to be honest with you, but I know the lensetic compasses usually have the part that flips up in the front and the back, and you sight through it along with a small wire to get your bearings. But and this is made in Finland, which is very, very cool. But as you can see, it comes in a nice little, a nice little clamshell. And I thought this was one of the ones that you have to cut up and everything to open, but it actually is not. It is just what we call a, a nested clamshell, which is an unsealed clamshell where this just opens up. And then you have access to all your goodies. So let's take this out first. You can see they've got a little lanyard and other parts down in that tray, but let's take a look at what we have here first, folks. Okay. Okay. We've got a nice insert talking about the warranty in many different languages. This is another thing I always thought was cool is when you have an international uh, version like this. Now, I will note, too, when you buy this compass, they have them for different hemispheres. This one with the NH, and see how the United States is in black here? This is designated as a uh, northern hemisphere. They also have a southern hemisphere version. And then I think they have a third version. I don't know what the third version is. I'll be honest with you. I don't, I don't remember. But anyway, that's just something to note. Uh, when you do order one of these, or if you do get one of these, if you're in the U.S. like I am, make sure you get the Northern Hemisphere version. And then we have a nice user's guide, which is actually folded up like a good old-fashioned map. Look at all these details. This will give me something to review later on. I'm not going to go through it here with y'all, but just know that it's in there. Y'all remember... When you used to go into gas stations when you're little, and they always had maps, always there'd be a whole rack full of maps. Um, you know, I didn't, I can't tell you the last time I've even noticed a, a map rack in a gas station. I'm sure they're probably still there, but you know, the good old fashioned GPS has kind of uh, 
kind of made that somewhat obsolete would be my guess. But uh, yeah, so what we have here is a small lanyard and you've got some little gizmo right here and I happen to know uh, what this is for. Then you've got some other type of little, uh, probably something used in the lanyard set up for it. Um, I'm going to tell you what this is. We'll, well, we'll talk about that in a second here. Let's go ahead and pop this thing out, and we'll take a take a closer look at it. Hey, let y'all let me know what you think about my new my new backdrop here. My wife got this for me because the white backdrop I was using before would make things look washed out, etc. So she kind of got me something cool to use on it. But it has a nice sleeve around it right here. Yay. And then you can see that there is a mirror in here. Now this mirror does have the little plastic protective film and oh gosh, how, how much do we love pulling these film off of things, guys? Let's see if I can do this on camera. Oh, and share the experience with you. Just like if we were getting a new iPhone or something. Oh, yes. And look, it's a mirror. So you can see my filming. You can even see the top of my head. <laughs> but, uh oh, looks like it got a little bit of plastic residue in there. So, yeah, let's take a close-up look at this little gizmo. Look at all them fancy numbers and rulers and all that cool stuff on here. You can see my wife's <laughs> craft room stuff in the background there. And it folds up like that. Give you some protection. But yeah, what a cool, what a cool little gizmo, folks. Um, so let me tell you, I, I, again, this is not a educational video on this, but I know... For example, this hole right here is used for siding. Like if you're gonna hold it at like say, I think like 90 degrees, you could look through there. Uh, it, ha it has two siding notches up on top. This top one, you can put this at about 45 degrees and sight through the top right here. And you can use the mirror when this is held level to see what your, um, what your azimuth is. Now this compass, you can also use this mirror as a signaling mirror. Like if you're in an emergency, you can look through the back of it right here. And you guys know, if you don't know how to use signaling mirrors, check it out sometime. It's pretty cool, but it helps if you, you, you hold up your hand like this in a V and you can see your mirror glinting off of it. And whoever you're trying to signal, let's, let's say this little thing is who we're trying to say it's an airplane. Well, you hold your signal mirror up, you look through your eyes, and you, you, you tilt it like this, and you can see it glinting off your fingers. And then when you're doing it like that, or you can do it this way too, you'll know that, hey, whoever is out there that I'm trying to signal right here can see it because it's flipping back and forth between my fingers. So that's kind of like what this thing, which you can use for this thing for too. So um, this thing for too. Boy, I, I tell you what, I got, I got good English, don't I? But uh, anyway... This little gizmo right here, this is a little screwdriver that adjusts this. Now what you can do with this particular compass is you can, um, let me put something light colored behind it here so you can see it a little bit better. You can see these little numbers right here. These adjust the magnetic declination of this. So if you know you're gonna be using this mostly in Arkansas, for example, my home state, you can look up online and see what the declination is for magnetic compasses in your area. You can adjust this little screw and what that will do, it will rotate this little part here to whatever degrees your declination is. And then you can just leave it, okay? 
And what that means is when you're orienteering with this, you don't have to worry about trying to find a true north because, you know, I, I, a lot of people probably don't know this, but a compass doesn't traditionally point at true north. It points at the magnetic north of the, uh, of the earth. And so you have to account for that. And if you don't have something like this with this where you can set the declination on it, you can actually, there's formulas you can do. God knows I don't know how to do it, but there's formulas you can do to figure out the, uh, the uh, how many degrees you're going to have to adjust it, you know, based upon where you're headed. So little magnifying glass. Now what that's used for, and a lot of maps have little small writing. So sometimes, you know, you need something to be able to see that, especially if you get lost in the woods and you don't have your reading glasses. Gosh, what a nightmare that would be, because I'll be the first to tell you without my reading glasses, y'all, there ain't no way I'm going to be able to read these little digits on here. Uh, yeah, that would be that would be a nightmare. Now, you can also use this. Y'all might notice that. See this little needle right here? That's for measuring angles. So you can actually use this compass to measure measure some angles with. Now, another little tip too, I forgot to mention this magnifying glass. If you have to, you're lost in the woods, you could potentially use that to start fires with. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's that's it, folks. I, I mean, I again, I there's a lot of videos out there on map orienteering and how to actually use one of these things. And I'm going to research it. I mean, I know nowadays it's just so easy just to use your GPS to tell you where you're at and stuff. And, hey, you know what? Those are great. GPS systems like that, I'm sure, have saved a lot of lives. But uh, this is something, uh, what if? You know, what if your battery's dead? What if, uh, you know, God forbid there's an EMP and this is the only method that you have for uh, finding yourself? And also, I think it's just cool. I'm always looking to learn more information, so that is something I'm going to do some research on this, probably get a book or two, and give me some nice relaxing reading and figure out how to actually use this thing. But today's video, again, was just to basically kind of give you a close-up. I can tell you this is very well made, very nicely made, nice molding on it. Uh, you know, this is this is a cool little a cool little gizmo or a gadget. And it will give me something to do. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this sort of stuff, you know, seeing little videos of my gizmos and gadgets, you know, just let me know and I'll try to do some more of them for y'all. Um, please don't, please take the time to go ahead and click the thumbs up on this video. Uh, if you do like this type of video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You know, it really helps out. Y'all be safe out there. We'll talk to you soon.